got steak and foods and he got more food and I'm gonna sleep in the Tesla as you saw we got some sketchy area to get up I'm gonna sleep in the back here made it up look how low it is to the ground <laughs> made it up oh. that car is right here cool little spot Show you my setup. Got my pillow, got my homemade quilt, sleeping pad. I'm gonna I have all my extra stuff in here. This will cover the rear windows up. Got the window cover there that has the reflective insulation on the roof. And then the windshield there reflecting back at me. And then Unfortunately, I forgot the covers for the, for the, um, what should we call it? For the front windows. So we're gonna kind of improvise. I think I'm gonna maybe try and get this up or something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's mostly for heat retention and less for light blocking, but it'll be plenty dark in here with these, with these on here. And I'll keep all the heat in the back. It'll be pretty sweet. First time camping with camp mode. I'm at, in case I somehow forget, 170 miles. I expect to lose about at least 70 overnight, and I can get home on 100 easy. But probably gonna... That's what it looks like from the outside. Probably gonna stop past the supercharger real quick on the way back home. Yeah, everyone... Everyone on the road, like almost every person looks by, they look at the, the blazer right next to the Tesla. <laughs> and so it's a, a kind of odd car combo. The blazer looks really nice. Convert that to electric would be sweet. But um, we had one little, well, obviously you saw that in the video, the one spot with the, the dips in the road. Had friends walk down, I was able to get up just fine. Wheels spun a little bit. Mine's rear wheel drive. And uh, you can see just uh, how little room there is clearance wise on the bottom of this car. It can make it. That's for sure. We're gonna have a good fire, cook some steak, have a good time. We're stuck. I got some chips, a speaker, and half a bottle of water. <laughs> Cooking steak over the fire. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, I almost forgot to uh, uh, record a video. Uh, I've been in here for all of 15 minutes. But uh, this is my camp setup. Uh, you got the front windows here. I didn't realize those were actually those covers for the front windows, which is probably better because um, that's actually where most of the heat's gonna get lost since the, the right. vents are blowing out here. Of course, you got this vent here, um, blowing out air. Just watching one of Mike's blind left corner or the B pillar video thing he just made. Uh, if you're curious about what the B pillar might see on the full self driving videos, go ahead and look at that. Um, but it's uh, pretty cool. It's the first time I'm trying out camp mode. Of course, I got the reflective sun shield reversed, so the reflection size on the inside. I still need to go find a way to get this sealed in. So this is glass right there. And then of course I got like um, sun cover here with the reflectance tight and above my head as well. Unfortunately, I forgot the covers for the rear windows. However, my dog um, covers for the doors. And that working pretty well. Um, they seem to stay up. So, well, you can't really see it, can you? Hold up. Okay, there you go. Um, so, yeah, it covers kind of stuff up there and just give me privacy, basically. They're not going to work thermally to do very much. Keep some air from moving against the windows, of course, but not too much. And I decided to keep the one seat up. Um, so the the foot box down, all this is there is going to stay pretty cold. But that's fine. This This is rated for 30 degrees or so. Um, and it's on, and the car is set for 60 and it's only supposed to get down to 40. 
So I think uh, it's at least going to be 50 degrees in the back back there, I'd say. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious how much um, battery we're at. I was at 169 miles rated when we started. So um, actually, no, maybe 168 miles. Um, but I'm going to track that, of course, how long it's going to take, and we'll see what we have in the morning. Got the peasants out in the in the tent out there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, it is now just after eight o'clock in the morning. Um, I slept okay. Um, I think this incline causes some issues for me. Um, I have to figure that out. See if I can like even it out a little bit from the foot side. But um, otherwise, slept pretty okay. Uh, temperature wise, um, it was good. I, I don't know if I'd mentioned before, but I set it to 60 degrees. That's what I had set it to. And, um, yeah, so it, it kept it at 60 the whole night. And it was about, it started at like, like 45 degrees. And I think it's 38 degrees right now. Uh, it was super, super windy all night. And it's still a little bit breezy, but nowhere near as bad as it was just even a few hours ago. Um, so between, I don't know what it was, um, it was one, so we started at 169 or 168, so I'm going to say 169 miles of range. Um, I set it for two fan on recirculate. And so fortunately, cat mode didn't used to let you do this, but now you can set it to recirculate. And it stays there as a manual setting, which saves a tremendous amount of energy. One, it doesn't use the heat pump. Uh, well, mine doesn't have a heat pump. Mine has resistive heat. It's a 2018 Model 3. But um, it you, it just uh, it doesn't use the AC compressor, which saves a ton of power. And um, so, yeah, between that and everything else, um, I'm at 146 miles this morning. Uh, so at 4 a.m., right at exactly at 4 a.m., um, Ben had called me saying something was sniffing outside of his tent. So we don't know if it was deer or bear or raccoon or what. I think it might have been deer. Basically called me and turned on my lights. Um, fortunately, the window was fogged up because of having recirculation on. The front window. The side windows were fine. Just the front window were fogged up. And so... Uh, turned on the defroster to get the window defog unfogged so I could see and it see anything. Um, so, yeah, that was an event. So basically between like the 15 minutes I spent to defrost the window, I had turned on the AC and the fans at max, turned the heat up to six, like 68 for a little bit. That burnt grew about two miles of range. And um, so, yeah, that, that was extra power used that wouldn't have normally needed to be used. Um, and so I turned it back down, it's at 62 degrees now, with, um, sucking in outside air to keep the moisture level down. Uh, and that's been since 4 a.m., so four hours of that, and, of course, six hours, a little bit over six hours, of recirculate. And I only burnt through 23 miles of range, which is way lower, way lower than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be close to 80 plus or like at least 60, at least 60 miles of range. Um, so yeah, that's that's incredible that the burger's su such little miles. Uh, I have my um, I have my watch here. It's at 61 degrees. Uh, I'm sitting right there. Uh, it's 50. I was actually sitting down there a little bit ago, and it's 59 degrees. So obviously the lower you are, it's colder. So it's probably like 64 up here. But this insulation does a fabulous job. Oh, I think Bergeron uh, uses some type of this um, plastic reflective liner or something that suction cups to the top. Doesn't make a very tight seal. This this is a very tight seal. The only spots is just a couple gaps, but even the, the that, see that's glass right there. There's a couple small gaps, 
which is a gap right here. But everything else is you know, small gaps around there, but it's pretty well sealed. Of course, I didn't have my covers here um, on this window. And then that window is completely sealed all the way down. That's not light on the bottom. That's just reflection from the light of my camera. Um, and of course, if you don't believe the miles we started at, it is 146 right now. Um, and so, what I'm going to do in the future is fill in this gap here with some Reflectix. And then, um, I think, well, obviously the rear windows will be covered. Between the rear windows being covered and that, I might, I mean, if I did recirculation the whole night, and maybe turn down the fan of one, I might get it down to 20 miles for the whole night. Obviously, that's probably not worth it um, due to moisture issues and everything else. But, uh, you know, um, it's cool. Um, so I'm thoroughly, thoroughly happy with the performance of this. Um, I easily have enough range to make it home. I'm only 80 miles from home, so I won't even have to stop at a supercharger. And, um, yeah, this is awesome. Actually, yeah, you can see it's... Yeah, 38 degrees. I was guessing on that temperature, but it says 38 right now for the car. Um, yeah, so guess I'll report back once we're outside, but I'm pretty happy with the performance. Eating breakfast, cooking over the fire. We are leaving our campsite here. This is going to be the end of this video. Overall, I'm very happy with the performance of the car, camping overnight, and the battery loss I had. If you want to see more of these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll glad to see you on the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.